of it. Well, that's this halogen lamp. I have two of those from the photocopier. But I have to get rid of all of this because, yes, I am not going to be around in this country. So, I've connected the halogen lamp, run some wires across, and I'm going to run it on the computer power supply. I'm going to do a 3.3, .3, a 5, a 12, and then probably a 120. Um, this is supposed to be rated at 120. And it should be interesting enough to see how it goes. So first I'll measure the resistance. This side has some tight, loose, tight, loose. But the tight is small, the loose is big. On this side, it's a lot more of the tight and a very small piece of the loose. Not sure why this is done. And there's separators to keep this piece of wire from touching the, what I believe is quartz. Should be quartz, so you can up. So quartz, you know, sides and, and it's an interesting method. I don't know why it wasn't just consistent. That said, let me get a resistance and what we'll do is see if we get any kind of heating at the low voltages like 3.3 and 5. Maybe not even get anything at 12. We'll see. Um, so first thing, resistance. Where well, is at 3.3 volts, it tripped the power supply, but according to the meter, this was 6.5 ohms which means it was negligible current uh maybe it just shorts off first and then it tries to build the temperature i don't know but it should not have actually tripped the ball so far 3.3 volts oh well the 5 volt didn't trip but nothing happened the 12 volt didn't trip nothing happened no clue nothing even in the night like now i wish i'd have seen a clue so well i don't have anything in between 24 volt power supplies I had all thrown away already. Um, that would have been interesting to check because I had some very powerful ones. So let's go to 120. Let's put the safety glasses on. Let's hope for the best. I have a little standoffs made out of some dodgy little pieces of wire. That's what they sell as wire in this country. If it's not that, it's tying wire which isn't, um, what do you call that, um, coated with zinc, galvanized. So yeah. Is that a crappy wire across or really fine wire? Sucks. This is how it looks at 120. So, yeah, wouldn't have expected anything to come out of 12 volts now. Um, if you look now, you could clearly see where this side there's some high bright spots and then there's a lot of space in between. And this side it's largely bright. The heat is actually quite high already. I don't know how long this will last without giving trouble, but yes, you could clearly see where. They wired this thing really funny.